So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here, I'm Oliver, and uh, yes, this here is an old ancient uh, Chinese coin, I do not know how old it is, it doesn't matter, uh, it still looks uh, quite uh, quite interesting under the microscope. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I've not only got one of these coins, but several of those, and I would simply would like to tell you a little bit the story on how I got them, um, and uh, we're going to have a closer look here. And yeah, do you see this brown, light brown stuff here? That seems to be some kind of clay material, which we can also put under the microscope. But I have to tell you, um, yeah, there won't be any very interesting microorganisms uh, to be found here because everything's dried, but we can have a, a look um, at it in any case. I'm just going to show you the coins that I have. So back in 1989, so it's well over 30 years ago, yeah, we visited China um, simply for as tourists. Uh, we had a little trip there and we found uh, yeah, places where they sold those coins and we bought several of those because we thought uh, that they're probably quite valuable. So we were very happy because they kind of souvenirs, you know, and uh, they looked old. I mean, look at this one over here. I mean, it's uh, pretty corroded. So I don't know, maybe, maybe hundreds, if not thousands of years old. That's what I kind of thought. Um, and uh, we bought those coins, uh, quite a few of those. Uh, actually even more than I have here we brought them back home and then we went to um, a coin specialist and uh, we showed it to him and we asked him well um, are they any anything worth are they valuable I mean I think he really only looked for two seconds two or three seconds at them honestly and then he was kind of almost saying laughing and shaking his head as well these are just regular cash coins um, which basically have absolutely no value and they're sold uh, in large quantities to tourists um, who think that they're valuable yeah so that's basically why we've got those. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be valuable. Um, they're nice souvenirs. Uh, I think uh, they look. Uh, they look. They have a form of, of, of a degree of prettiness as well. Um, and under the stereo microscope, you can actually see them in, in, in greater details. But one of the things that I noticed is, is that there's this white stuff um, on here, and this white uh, residue, whatever that is, I think might be clay. Um, so what I found out is that uh, it can actually be scratched off and removed, and we can also put it under the microscope. But um, yeah, because it's dry, as already mentioned, um, we're not going to see any any movement or any microorganisms. Now, I guess that these must be copper coins, uh, just from the color. And uh, this also means that uh, because it's copper, um, it basically also inhibits uh, the growth of uh, microorganisms. Uh, that's uh, simply uh, also one of the things that uh, where there's copper, uh, microorganisms don't like to grow because the metals actually have some kind of a disinfecting um, a property as well. Um, so let's have a look um, at uh, some of those again um, under the microscope. Maybe this one over here, which uh, seems to be a little bit... Uh, yeah, cleaner than the other ones. Yeah, here, that's the one. I'm now using my lowest uh, magnification. I mean, one of the, I mean, you can see a couple of scratches here, but honestly, I've seen actually modern coins uh, which actually have way more uh, scratches. Yeah, so it looks almost a little bit like it's been uh, probably cleaned or something. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, basically one side. Let's turn it around. Yeah, and here, uh, that's the other side. Yeah, I don't even know if this is right side up or upside down. Cannot read Chinese, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But in any case, uh, this is how how it looks like. We can zoom in a little bit more. Unfortunately, I've not adjusted the microscope properly, so I'm losing the focus every time when I zoom in. This is how it looks like. Uh, right now, I'm using a light uh, which comes uh, from the side, um, so it does give you a little bit of a uh, depth, a uh, sense of depth. But I can turn on uh, the direct top light. Let me just show, show this to you as well. Let's turn this on, okay? Um, and you see that the image looks a little bit flatter. Let's turn off the other one here. Okay, here we go. I have to always reach over to my microscope, but that's why I'm always sometimes going off, yeah? Um, off, off the edge of the screen. Yeah, so this is basically, yeah, another one. Now let's have a look at this uh, very corroded coin. Here we go. Um, and here we are actually, it's a decreased, uh, yeah. Here we are actually able to see different colors and uh, yeah, the, the red, um, basically the red uh, tint that you see, the red color could be indeed be iron oxide, uh, so rust. Yeah. And here it's already so corroded that we're not even able to, to see, uh, see anything here. Uh. So and, uh, let's try to do the following. Let's uh, try to um, carefully remove uh, um, yeah, some of the clay. I think, I think it might be clay from the coin and put it under the microscope. We are then going to see the, the clay particles. Yeah, one way of, of doing that is simply using a toothpick uh, and scratching a little bit. Yeah? And I don't know if you're able to see that uh, some of this material can actually be scratched off. Yeah? 
So. And then I'm going to use a pipette with a little bit of water um, to pick up uh, yeah, this material and uh, then we can put it on a microscope slide um, yeah, for further um, observation. Okay, here as well. Yeah, I think that's that's enough. Yeah. So let's uh, use a little bit of, of water here. Also, I kind of uh, I'm using now the water to pick up uh, any loose material. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that should be already enough. And uh, let's put it on on the slide. Okay. And a cover glass goes on top. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, essentially um, a little bit as I expected. Uh, nothing spectacular here. Um, yeah, of course, uh, um, any movement that you see is uh, either because of so-called Brownian motion or because of capillary action where the particles are spreading beneath uh, the cover glass. Uh, when we zoom in a little bit yet more using the 60 times objective, we might actually see that some of the smaller particles actually start shaking and vibrating. And this is because of the so-called the random motion um, called Brownian motion. Yeah, now you can actually see that some of those uh, particles, they not only stream along as the liquid spreads beneath the cover glass, but also have this, uh, they're wiggling around a little bit. Yeah, yeah so this is basically, um, yeah, a little bit of a, a unique, um, how do you say, unique view um, of uh, this uh, coin here. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately, uh, no diatom shells. Uh, and this would have been kind of nice uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, um, and let's go back to the coins. I think they're a little bit more interesting. You know, this coin here, for example, on this one side doesn't seem to have anything uh, yeah, printed on on the other side. Yeah, however, we do have uh, some, some text. Yeah. So this is how it looks like. And uh, yet uh, another one over here. Yeah. And uh, let's just uh, zoom in very much simply to see how it looks like on the the highest magnification that my stereo microscopes allows for. The contrast, of course, is um, um, a, a little bit low. Yeah. Yeah, why, why am I looking at this? Actually, why not? Uh, this is actually one of the things that I kind of like doing um, is uh, simply, um, yeah, a little bit simply exploring uh, the uh, environment and having a unique, unusual look at the everyday objects. No, I don't know. <laughs> Those old Chinese coins are probably not everyday objects, um, but at least, uh, yeah, after more than 30 years, uh, they have now found good use. Uh, at least I can show them to you now um, in this uh, short video. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to now return all of those coins back into the box where they were. Yeah, I wish you all the best now. Happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.